today's video is going to be a review of two new palettes from Tarte. I am so excited about these palettes, you guys. I've been seeing sneak peeks of them on like Instagram and Snapchat and I had just, oh my gosh, like I was so excited to get my hands on these. I am such a big fan of Tarte. It is my favorite makeup brand. If you have watched my channel at all, you would probably know that. So of course I was gonna get my hands on these. Um, the moment they became available, on TarteCosmetics.com. Tarte I placed my order. Um, I really like Tarte Cosmetics because it's super friendly, user friendly to Canadians. Um, you just click a little button at the bottom that switches it over to Canadian dollars. And um, when you spend over $75, you get free shipping, which I really appreciate that, that they transfer that over to Canadians as well because oftentimes makeup companies, the moment you're from Canada, you have to pay shipping no matter what. So. It was really nice that since I bought both of these, I got free shipping and I am so excited about them. I've been using them both for about a week now, so I am excited to bring you guys this review and let's jump into it. Ooh, first of all though, I'm going to have a little button right here and if you would like to subscribe, if you're not subscribed, please do so. It means so much to me, so just click the little box right there and you will be subscribed. So into it and I think we will start off with the Tarte Let in Bloom palette. So this is this, the sequel to the original Tarte Let palette. I have the original right here so you can see that they are the exact same size and they are really, they really go together nicely I would say. And then you, it's the same type of packaging, you open it up here and you have 12 eyeshadows and like is this not just the most beautiful palette? You have a mixture of mattes and shimmer shades in here, which is how it differs from the original. If I just open up the original here, you can see that the original palette has only matte shades, which is great, but I think this is a little bit more versatile because if you are just buying one palette, it's really nice to have those shimmery options. So the first shade we have in here is Charmer. It is a beautiful vanilla highlight shade. Then we have Flower Child, which is a beautiful peachy transition shade. Uh, it could be used as a highlight depending on the tone of your skin. And then Funny Girl is a really beautiful champagne shimmery color. Jet Setter is a little bit more of a cool toned taupe. Smarty Pants is just, oh, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful transition shade. Uh, again, that like kind of peachy tone. Sweetheart is a really, really beautiful mid-tone pinky a mid-tone pink color. Rocker is just a stunning taupe shade uh, that has some shimmer in it. Firecracker is just the most beautiful rose gold copper shade. It is my second favorite shade in this palette. Uh, my favorite shade has to be Rebel, which is just, oh my gosh, you guys, it is the perfect, I just love this eyeshadow so much. It's like mauvey but chestnut, if that makes sense. And then, which it doesn't, but that's okay. And then we have Smoke Show, which is like a very, very deep brown. Activist, again, another very deep brown. A little bit more like, honestly, that is a little bit more warm tone. That's the only difference. And then Leader is a really beautiful deep plum shade. Um, my only qualm about this palette is that Smoke Show and Activist are very similar. Like on the eyelid, they look pretty much the same. They're gonna do the same thing. So. Um, I would appreciate more if it was like the original Tarte palette, which this is a little bit deeper. Yeah, it would be better if one of these shades was a deeper black, but hey, that's okay. So you can see here that they do have it split up into kind of um, obvious quads. So the top row is like a really kind of neutral taupe. Um, the middle row is that really nice warm bronze and then down here, you have a little bit more of like the pinky mauve shades. I'm sure you can tell that I just, I love this palette. It again comes with a really beautiful big mirror that, and what I like about it is when it's sitting, it sits up so it's perfect if this is the only mirror you have and you just have it sitting on a table. And in general, I just think this palette is amazing, you guys. I believe it is going to be permanent to their collection and the pigmentation, the quality, they're all really, really good. Like it, Tarte just nailed it on this one. I think they were so smart to come out with a palette that has a few shimmery shades in it because everybody 
absolutely loved this uh, original Tarte palette. This is the Tarte Let number one. But for somebody that's only looking to own one eyeshadow palette, this is not going to do everything that you need because there are only matte shadows in it, in my opinion. So when you have this palette that has a few of those shimmery shades in there, it really well round, it really makes the palette well rounded. If I had to recommend one of them between the number one and the number two, I would recommend the number two, which is like crazy for me to say. And like I hold this Tartlet palette so close to my heart, but if you are only going to get one, I would recommend the number two. So all in all, this In Bloom palette is amazing. I think it is just a neutral lover's dream. For what I'm wearing today, I put Firecracker, that beautiful um, coppery shade all over the lid. I put Smarty Pants and Rebel into the crease area. And I, um, I don't even remember, I used one of these as like an eyeliner. And this is a highlight shade. So in general, you guys, like, I cannot say enough good things about this palette. It is great for travel and I love it. I really do. I really, really do. Moving on to the Tartiste Contour Palette. Um, Tartiste, Tartiste, not sure. Um, it comes in one of the Tarte Disc formats, which is what like their Tarte Showstopper Palette is, the uh, Rainforest Palette. Um, they have a few of these. I did notice that this one is a little bit thicker than those other palettes, but I do appreciate that it is the same disc size because it makes it nice and easy when you're like stacking them. And it has a really sturdy closure on it, which is nice. You open it up here and it has a big mirror and then you have the actual contour shades here. So they have them split up and they have them numbered. So I'm just gonna talk about them one by one. So here we have the number one highlight, which is this kind of like peachy vanilla shade. And this honestly, you guys, is the exact same color as my skin tone. Like you'll see in the swatch, in the swatch there on my arm that it just blends in. Like it, this is the perfect, perfect shade for me for setting my under eye area and also if I needed to set other parts of my face. So this doesn't necessarily work as like a highlighting shade for me, but I really, really do like the color. Next is number two, it says correct. And this is more of like a yellow shade. Now for me, I love a powder that has a bit of a yellow undertone to it. I find them to be so brightening and just give that space, that triangle space under your eye a lot of life. Um, I don't know how these shades would work for deeper skin tones. I think that's what's really hard about contour kits is that it's impossible to cater to everybody. I think Tarte would be smart to come out with like different um, skin tone shades like light, medium, and dark. But for me, I love these absolute shades. Oh, and you guys, I can't believe I forgot to tell you, it smells like chocolate. So if you have ever smelled the Too Faced uh, chocolate bar palette, that is exactly what this smells like. There must be cocoa in it or something. The texture of these two highlighting shades is so silky and smooth and just beautiful for setting that. Like the formulation of these, uh, all of these shades actually is amazing. Next, we have the two contour shades. This one is a little bit warmer and lighter and this one is a little bit darker and cooler. Um, this lighter one is just perfection for me. I've been using this to contour but also just to bronze. In general, I don't like to do any sort of like harsh contouring, but using this as more of like a bronzer and just putting it right there on the um, outside of my forehead and just kind of tapping it on my nose, I have been loving it. I haven't got a ton of use out of this darker shade. What I've been doing with it is just taking my brush and putting it just right here at the very back of my face near my hairline. Um, I do really like it though. I think I'll get more use out of it in the summertime when I have a little bit more color in my skin. But then again, like I was saying, it's, you, it's impossible to cater to everybody with a palette like this. So I can respect that they went with something a little bit darker here in hopes of catering to more people. Okay, next is number five, Accentuate, which is a blush. And I am so excited that they included a blush in this contour kit because that is what sets it apart from the other contour palettes. Like I think of the Kat Von D one, Anastasia, the NYX one, Lorac one, none of them have a blush shade in them. Oh, that's gonna bug me. 
none of them have a blush shade in them. So I think it is so awesome that Tarte put a blush shade in here and it is beautiful, you guys. It is just a natural, movie tone and I, I love that. I love blushes that just are the color that when you naturally flush, that didn't, that wasn't a proper sentence, but you know what I'm saying. Um, this is not the same formula, at least I don't think it is, as their Amazonian clay blushes. This gives off a little bit more pigment, in my opinion, than what the Amazonian clay blushes do, which is not a bad or good thing, it's just a different formulation. So if you're expecting one of the Amazonian clay formulations, that really, really like hard blush, that's not what this is. This is a lot softer like the other uh, powders in here. Now, the one shade that I'm not, I don't wanna say that I'm not impressed with, I just feel like my expectations for what this shade was gonna be are different than what it actually is. So I was expecting a really, really beautiful, creamy, pigmented highlighter. That is not what this is. That is not what this is. This is basically a translucent setting powder that has a little bit of like shimmer in it, but not a lot. So it is reminiscent of like the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and it's beautiful. Like I like it just to mix in. I use both of these shades for my under eye and mix a little bit of that in, and it just brings a little bit more of life to that space rather than just looking really matte. And I do really like it, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. I would prefer this shade to be a really, really creamy, pigmented highlighter to use on your cheekbones, but that is not what this is. And I don't think that was the intention of it, and I don't know why I expected it to be that. But regardless of that, I still love this palette. I love that it is so easy to use, and unlike some of the other contour shades, contour palettes, where they have so many different shades and it can become over overwhelming with what um, shades to use. I love that they have two contour shades, two highlight shades, a translucent powder, and a blush, and it's just a no-brainer. So, all in all, I love this palette as well. I think it is just so aesthetically pleasing. I love the packaging of it. I think this would be amazing to travel with as well. Whenever palettes have that kind of uh, closure that like locks, not locks, but you know what I mean. Like it just, you know, you know that it's not gonna be opening and flailing everywhere in your bags. So I love this. I think Tarte did an incredible job with both of these palettes. I highly recommend both of them. If you're good, maybe Santa will bring them. You never know. I'm going to have all the links down below where you can get it. And yeah, all in all, big th thumbs up for these. Tarte has done it once again. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It means so much to me. Like it really does. It does. Uh, I hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a haul video. I went to the Sephora VIB Rouge event that they had at my local Sephora last week and I picked up a few things so I wanted to show you guys what I got. I didn't get too much. I didn't go too crazy. So.